Annyeong everyone, this is Ju from Soju Cars and this is the Honda Civic Type R and this one costs 3,180,000 pesos SRP Contact your nearest Honda dealership right now so that you can ask for their exclusive discounts and thank you so much Honda Cars Philippines for letting me drive this car for a while In our channel we say Shijak This is the key of the Honda Type R Excalibur. <laughs> That's very corny, but yeah. For the record, this car already has 18,000 kilometers for its mileage. The proper name for this car is Civic Type R 2.0 Turbo Manual Transmission. This one has six speed transmissions, all right? And let's check out the car. So the front, the headlight and the grille look similar with the normal or standard Civic. Yes, it's very ornamental. It has all LEDs and then we also have a nice fog lamp. We have some uh, non-active vents but uh, some people like it, some people don't. And we have a nice Type R body package or arrows for this model. It's just so beautiful in this white color and the red Type R Honda badge. It's so fantastic. And uh, yeah, it is a very loud car. Let's check out, uh, oh yeah, by the way, there's a hood right here. It is somewhat functional and not functional at the same time. It's not an intercooler, all right? Then, yes, we have like active vents right here and also here. And we have turn signal, Brembo disc brake system. They're dotted or slotted. This uh, ventilated discs right here with nice black and red uh, pinstripe uh, design right here with that red Honda it's really nice looking and uh, the tires yes they have seen better days this car has been tracked reviewed abused you know? and uh, these ones are also non-functional as well the side mirrors they look standard with side repeaters and yes everything standard the side skirt and this is the four-door hatch so it's very fantastic and we have like this um, like it's not just for design it is to channel air these are like vortex uh, fins right there with the shark fin antenna as well here we have solid disc braking system as well and then yes these are just for design reflector just design the type R badge the huge very loud wing with white and black contrast, a gas cap here on the left side. Now let's check out the engine bay. I'm not sure if the car's engine bay is clean because I, I didn't clean it, so let's check it out. So here is the 2.0 liter engine that does 306 horsepower and 400 Newton meters of torque. And this car goes zero to 100 uh, just near five seconds, five point something, and there you go. So as you can see, there is no intercooler, manual shot bar, Earth Dream technology, VTEC turbo. And that one looks cool. Oh, I wonder what this one is for. If you know, please do let me know in the comment section below. But for sure, the air kind of goes in that way. I'm not sure. Please do tell me in the comment section below. All right. And we can close that. Oh, my finger. Nice. This is the interior of the Type R Civic. I'm sure you guys are all familiar. Remember, this car is a 2017 model. And this is a press car, so you have lots of wear and tear. Especially the exterior. Many people bump the car, so I don't want to be like that. We have like Twitter speaker, main speaker here. All the standard features that you can find in your Civic as well. But you have like carbon fiber accents with red accents 
um, Alcantara or suede material. I think it's Alcantara. And then we have red stitching. This car has red accents everywhere. It has a flat bottom as well. You have all the standard features that you would get in your uh, ordinary Civic. And then you have some blanks with button, more carbon fiber, and then uh, push start button, automatic lights and windshield wipers. Uh, what would be special? Uh, it would be the instrument cluster. As you can see, like they are in three clusters and the center screen is the L LCD. And on the left, on the right, you have lots of red accents in this sport mode. So when you go to comfort mode, that's the time the red accents on the sides are gone. But when you go to sport, it goes like that. And then another one gets even more sporty. So in sport, it shows the car, the suspension and the engine, right? Also in race mode. There you go. It means like it's maximum state. And you have like plenty of other options like this, like the, the acceleration and the, the turbo, digital speedometer, G meter, timer, gas, uh, clock, navigation, options, music, phone, and you can turn off everything and just focus on driving. And the really nice thing is these are the like the tachom the tachometer. This is the tachometer for showing you like when to shift, like in F1 cars like that. So this car has that as well. Then we have a somewhat a tiny screen right here. It has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. That's very good. It also has uh, offline navigation, which is also very cool. Then it's touch type. It doesn't have any dial for the control for the volume and such. But you also have a button here, just in case you didn't see it. There you go, that's really cute. And then, the climate control. You can just control the temperature, but not the uh, blower. You can do it in your touchscreen. Uh, this touchscreen has a lot of animation, so there's a lot of drama, like... There you go, which just gives a lot of lag, but yeah. It was like, it, could, it would have been so cool back in... 2017 you even get HDMI cable wow you also get USB and you also get yes 12 volt that's where my uh, dash cam is plugged right now then yes looks like a pocket ball ball <laughs> it's really nice six-speed transmission with uh, rev matching we have brake hold which is fantastic yes uh, if you have a manual side brake that you won't have this then we have the Type R badge, Civic R05172. So I'm not sure how many are made on all over the world. If you know, please do let me know in the comment section below. So here are the drive modes as well. Everything is like plastic. Okay, also here it's all plastic. And then we have very big, very, very big uh, glove box and nice uh, Type R matting as well. And you can also lock the door in the passenger side and you have airbags they're airbags curtain airbags and you have black headliner black sun visor with lights does it extend okay it doesn't extend here also yes we have mirror with light and individual map lights as well and little light coming from here auto dimming um, room mirror as well and everyone gets a grab handle and you also get amenities at the back like that and let me show you the let me show you the seat of this the type r it's bucket seat very nice bolstering it's gonna hold you like crazy really nice thing is also that you have red seat belts now i'm not really sure why these things are big if you know, please do let me know. I'm really curious. There are cars that are like super heavy here and some are just light. So please do tell me if you know why it is like that. Now let me bring you to the back. Oh yeah, before that. We actually have a center console here. It's all in suede material, but it has been aged. So it's a bit, uh, yeah, it's a bit disgusting to touch, but yeah. Yeah, in red stitching, you can actually slide this one. 
And then you have two cup holders that are adjustable. Like this one can be adjusted. You can remove it. And then you have a USB port right here as well. Now let me bring you to the back. Before you continue, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thank you. Okay, let's go to the second row. Yes, very standard plastic with a Twitter speaker and a, a main speaker. This area is in fabric. It's all in fabric, so you don't find leather in this car right now. Oh, we have mango. And then, oh, this my, oh, this is my normal driving position. I'm 5'10, 5'11. That's a lot of um, leg room. And this area is not hard, so even though it hits my shin area, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. And yeah, actually I was looking for this. Yes, we have seat side airbags as well. These are all carbon fiber. Very nicely done. Yeah. Whew. And the seat is really comfortable. The seat is really comfortable, guys. I mean, I didn't expect for this one to be this soft. Super soft. I love it so much. It, 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 the lumbar support, it's so fantastic. Wow. I would love to be a passenger in this car. Other amenities in this car? Uh, none. You just have two attached headrests. Oh, and you get a trunk cover. Then you, have, you can actually fold the seats so that you can have more luggage in this car. Yes, this performance car, you can actually put more luggage. The center tunnel is on the high side, but still this car has plenty of room. And wow, <laughs> this area is super nice. I mean, how can this box be so soft and comfortable? This is not supposed to happen, but oh, I love it. I just love it. Oh, very comfortable, practical performance car. <laughs> Now let me show you the trunk. We're in the trunk area. Let's see what I have in the trunk. Oh, what is that? Yes, I wanted to test out if uh, this car can still move around very well with the uh, load. This one is not so heavy. Yes, we have a different kind of uh, trunk cover. This is really cute. So you don't have to actually remove it, but you can if you want to. This is very cute. Right, it's gonna cover whatever is inside your car. And then if you need more uh, space, there you go. You can also fold this side. So imagine the space you can get. You can actually move your house with this. You can even do Lipat Bahai with this car. And you also have a light here. Then you have tether points, even in this performance car. You also have the jack and the tool. Where's the jack? <laughs> I'm not sure. But at least we have early warning device, tether as well. Oh, and you also have this. You can also detach this one. So it's like a combination. That's very, very cool. And then you have like handles there. You drop it, boom. And this car comes with a single camera here at the back. Yes, this car has a single camera at the back. The quality is uh, just similar with other Honda cars. You have a third brake light here as well. You have a windshield wiper and those vortex fins look fantastic, right? It's like, it's like a Gundam. It's going to move up and down. And of course, the triple threat, the exhaust pipes, they look great as well. How's the under? Yes, this car is surviving all the media people that borrowed this car and put the car to the test. Yes, fantastic job. Great job, uh, Type R, that's the underside, all right, Whew.
this Type R has 18,000 kilometers on it already. What does it feel like? You feel um, comfortable, especially in these bucket seats. And with all these red accents around you, you feel that this car is special. And because this one has 18,000 kilometers on it already, it does smell like performance. <laughs> but maybe I can show you some. Yeah, you can hear the turbo spool, like which is really cool to experience. Um, this car actually looks very low profile, meaning low ground clearance, but uh, does it go over the humps and the road imperfections nicely? The answer is yes. Your driving modes can actually affect your driving modes because it actually makes the suspension uh, stiffer or softer. So that's amazing. Also, it does something to do with the handling and the throttle. So this car looks really nice and it feels so good because it has the plus R mode, which is uh, different from a sport mode. So this car is really fun. Just having that button right there and with this Type R plaque, which is so cool as well even though it's manual it still has the brake hold function which i didn't expect i never experienced having a brake hold function in a manual car so it is actually really convenient it means to say you can use this practically every day really and the ground clearance is not that bad it just goes up and down my parking space without a problem also the humps that you can find there in the near the burger circle in bgc yeah this car can handle it very well as well visibility feels like a normal car like a normal civic and also the noise vibration harshness is like a civic uh, very well done no complaints here we go guys this is actually in comfort mode yeah i can hear the spool from the turbo i love that so comfort mode uh, in the truck lane it's also okay the tires are good these bucket seats they really grip you tight and then you feel like you're in an arcade game so if you're a fan of car games then you might know that feeling just right really nice looking very loud car not loud in terms of sound but loud in terms of design thanks to the huge uh, spoiler there at the back you have all the grip you need so when you are making corners when you are like making a turn there you, it just brings joy to your face because it has speed and you know that it is gonna survive that corner of course i didn't do some exaggerating turns but then you know when a car is very sticky to the ground this is a very sticky car I never got the chance to put the gear to the fourth gear <laughs> yes I never had the chance to put it to fourth gear. I just tried it in the parking because this car is just so fast and this car's red line starts at 7,000 rpm it means that you can shift a bit later the exhaust system of this car is not the loud loud one like a GTR or Lamborghini but it looks nice it looks like it is gonna make some pops but it is not the case when you maintain the wow when you maintain the rpm you have more of that grunt sound so you get to enjoy that more because you don't get so much from the exhaust itself it's a front wheel drive so you don't get the fish tailing but uh, when you press the gas especially in the first gear oh my goodness the thrust is almost similar with the lotus elise if you haven't watched that video please click this corner right here it is certainly going to be an, um, an experience that i will never forget in my life if you have the chance grab it grab the car grab the test drive if you can indulge in speed and what honda did to the civic you'll be surprised brakes are amazing there are many times you know I have to brake fast the brakes are wonderful in this car the Brembo brake system it's amazing here is the Korean phrase of the day you can do it kaya mo yan 
할수 있다. 할수 있다. Everyone say, 할수 있다. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Thank you Honda Cars Philippines. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. This car is fantastic. And with that, I will see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Annyeong.